I'm in the beautiful city of Naples, Italy, where the pizza was born and there is food in every corner. Let's take this impressive compact camera, the GR3, for the next challenge, food photography. Naples is the perfect place for this challenge. Being in a city surrounded by food, I had to test a few of the GR3 functionalities to see how it performs in a different environment, outside of street photography. Thanks to the team and Maestri Pizzaioli, I was invited to the back where the magic happens, to take some cool shots of the process of pizza making. In this picture, I used a slower shutter speed to show the motion of the spoon, making the scene more dynamic. This classic Vodavn inspired me to use the 21mm wide conversion lens to increase the depth of field and to get as close as possible to the subject for a more immersive experience. I've taken the pizzas from the oven to the table to test the different lighting situation and how the camera will behave, adding a few props for a more commercial look. For this reportage, I've decided to move on to my next location, an historical pastry establishment. Ciao, Derico, how are you? Fine, and you? Very well, thank you. Thank you for having me here today. Oh, it's a pleasure to have you here. Tell me more about your business. Oh, Caratura is in Porta Cabona since 1837. Uh, I represent fifth generation of producing pastry for the city, for the city. And uh, we are here just you know, big kicks. Do you mind if you take some picture of your pastries? No, it's okay. I love photography. What a better place than this? Absolutely. And the Rico GR3 is an excellent tool for food photography. Let me show you why. Good, let's do it. Using the GR3 to photograph these pastries is a great occasion to demonstrate the kind of images that can be created using the 21mm wide conversion lens along with the built-in 28mm and the crop modes, which dramatically increases the variety of frames. After completing the set of pictures of the pastries, I made my way to the lab, where the owner walked me through the different stages of producing their most famous pastries.
Using the natural source of light with the fluorescent neolights in combination with the wide angle lenses and the specific composition allow me to achieve the desired two dimensional look. I have also used the macro mode to accentuate the tactile feel of the photos. I appreciate the touch focus on the GR3, which gives me plenty of control over the specific focus point when taking a picture. Later in the evening I arrive at the popular restaurant Oruchan to capture their busy dinner service. Although there is limited space, using this less intrusive camera gives me the advantage to take uncommon photos. In this situation where there is a lack of light, increasing the ISO is a must and the file output of the GR3 is outstanding, keeping a huge amount of detail and tonal range even in challenging light conditions. As you can see, using different framing techniques, angles and compositions helps bring out the photographic essence of many dishes. Mamma mia, what a day! The GR3 once again proved to be a versatile camera. Although there is some compromises in chrome mode, it's very suitable for food photography on the go. Please remember to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.